All right, we're back to a thing, a real thing. This is a kidney. It's a sheep kidney. Uh, they donated it for science, and that's very nice of them. Uh, it's been injected, so you can see the difference between the arteries and veins. You can't see everything that you can see in the model. Models are very stylized, idealized. But you can see the outside of the kidney, which would be the fibrous capsule. You can see this region right here, which is clearly a different color than this region right here. So this is the cortex, and then this would be the medulla. Now, in the medulla, you can see these little sort of patches of sort of dark brown or whatever it is. Those are the renal pyramids. So that's one pyramid right there. There's another pyramid right there, which means that the space between is a renal column. Uh, you can see some indication of the KOCs. This one's actually a calyx that has been split right down the middle. So I can see a minor calyx, a minor calyx right there. Uh, and then this would be a major calyx, this region with the, the pelvis being down in here. It's been kind of chewed up, so you can't really see it, but it's, you know where it is. Um, the leaving is the ureter. So this is the ureter. It's got a lot of connective tissue around it, so it's not just the thing, but inside of there, there's a tube that would carry the urine. We can see a couple of the arteries here. So I'm gonna go with these guys being, you don't see the actual renal artery, but this would be a segmental artery. Uh, these ones that come out here, these are the interlobar arteries. You can't really see any of the arcuate arteries, and you really can't see the afferent arterioles at all. So, uh, but I can see a lot of blue stuff. So these these blue lines out here would be where you'd find those interlobular and or uh, arteries and veins, also called uh, cortical radiate arteries and veins. Mm. Looking around, uh, I don't see a whole lot more there to point out. So. Good enough for me.